first before we begin again let me change my loadout before we go to her shielding because there are certain animals that react differently and I don't think it would be wise to have that kind of thing like lures we know these animals uh, we're, we know we're going to need roe deer and we know we're going to need uh, yeah that'll be fine we know we're going to run into a roe deer or something so let's just stay right there with that and with that being said let's uh let's go ahead and load up her shield okay here we go i'll just let this play out enjoy and then we'll continue Here we are at Hirschfelden. I'm glad you said so we got a locate track shooting an animal and harvest an animal. So this is really not that hard. Usually there's an animal real close by. So if you just bend out through here, there'll be a road there. So there's one right there. <laughs> Which we just shot it. So we just shot an animal, spotted him. Basically, that's all you got to do: shoot the thing, track it. Probably didn't go very far, so I can't believe it ran off. Even shot with a 30 six. That animal is very lucky. <laughs> so the first thing you want to do is go in here. So see, it's already pink, so you can definitely know it's dead. So yeah, so that's them's good colors. I can live with all them colors. So I thought it was right here. Yeah, there's there's the blood. But I know it didn't go very far. I mean, come on. So locate a track. Deer. They're not They're the most not difficult to hunt. That's that but one. Goes, squeak, squeak. Smell and hearing. So I don't think it went very far. He couldn't have. Not shot with 30 out six. Even a nominal hit, the animal ain't gonna go that far. My goodness, and that's just ridiculous. Depends where I hit it, I guess. Eh. Can't believe I... Yeah, right through the neck, I mean. Okay, getting the lay. Now we'll go up into a... Uh, getting the lay of the land. We're going to go up and get the get in the tower. Then we're going to go down to the first camp and if stuff. If you want to get your parents, there are lookout points spread out all over the reserve. Bullets, don't I? Yeah, so the lookout points. As I'm doing these, I'm going to do them all, I think, today. I think I'm going to try to do all of them. Do all the first parts of the missions. Get that out of the way. Yeah, I feel all the air with my music. So that's probably an event. Uh, there's an event right here. So it's part of it's on here. <laughs> Goofy stuff. I'm glad they added them finally to the uh, Call of Wow for people to play them. But we'll continue that later. Right now it ain't important to me, so we just want to get a good look. Lay the. Yeah, it is. I love the Hirschfeld maps. They're some of my favorite hunting. Hagenfeld is a favorite region for a lot of hunters. 
the fallow deer is such a classic animal. See, we're going right here. But we also get a lot of history buffs here. To the south lies the Hirschdorf Hügelkopf, a grave mound dating back to the Bronze Age. Be sure to stop by one of the outposts. They're essentially base camps. Definitely want to get some more uh, ammo, my friends. We'll collect a little, uh, there's a little thing down here you collect like a, a point of interest. It's always the eyes like this. This will be right here. And there's a fox, so we can just simply. Oh, he's close to what you think. So we'll take a fox, because a fox is pretty valuable when you're playing. They're like the coyotes, they pay out probably the best because they're a predator. And uh, the foxes are your predominant predator in Hirschfeld. I thought I'd seen him right over there. Let's bring back the gun so I can have a... Sounds like he's further away from me. It's a female. Yeah, if it's that far away, I ain't gonna worry about it. I do because I'm still just starting this game and you don't shoot very good when you first play until you get your perks up. Plus I need a little bigger scope. I'll unlock it here in a little bit and I need about twenty, thirty thousand dollars so. So get some good XP unlocked here. I like that bold action too, that M gun, that gun. There's a collectible right down here, so this this will be pretty much all you collect right down here. Fallow deer is nice to hunt. They're fun to hunt. Like I say, though, we're just going to the first mission, so nothing to get excited about. There is a collectible down here. That's the road here. I need, <coughs> excuse me, see the collectible over there glowing yellow? The follow deer antler? We can go over and get it first. Because there'll be a building right there making it harder to get to. So there's always. Cozy, right? Outposts are great for stocking up or for just taking a So let's see what we can get. We got ten thousand dollars. Many of the animals are shedding their antlers this time of year. 
They're still tricky to find, of course, but I guess that's why people like to collect them. <coughs> I wanna, wanna see what else I got I can use. I think I wanna go to a different type of rifle. I wanna try to sulk and so or a M1. Hi there. I've got a bit of an unusual question. Accuracy. Wow. I, don't mind. Huh. I think I mentioned yeah. Yalista, right? Well, here's the thing. Wow. She's writing a book about fallow deer. Her second one, actually. I kind of like this. Open. M. Deer. Anyhow, she's missing some pictures for her book and was looking for someone to help out. It's a bit specific. I remember hearing that you're quite the photographer yourself, so I thought I'd pass along her offer. She's looking for a picture of a fallow deer taken in hot felt. She'll pay quite well for it, so it may be worth the effort. If you were I don't know, I like the sulking a little better. You're in the right place. It's got better accuracy than the M1. So the only way you can really see is when you go down through the sulk in here. The king's pretty cool. When you go down here, see, you hit these. And they don't say too much, tip. see? Compatible don't island. And, and it, so the 30-06, it. it'll work she with them. This M1. This point. Which at that point, it don't hand, matter. No one better for hunting tips when it comes to so oh, and when you go down... Makes me hungry just is pretty cool, it. so there's a free one. So that's just the 30 out six is all that is. But I like this uh, sulking right here. So with soft points. So see, it takes out all that bear, big ain't game, big game. So I don't like the idea of the only soft points. So let's go down and look at rifle and look at the socket. What 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 was that? I done forgot what the socket takes. Okay, the seven six two by fifty four R. Is that all though it takes? I don't want to buy all that stuff because you buy all that stuff the next thing you know. I like the 272, I'll tell you. I'll buy a couple of them. Seven six two. So see the soft point. Uh -huh. So see the polymer tip you can't I can't get them yet. And see they take out even uh, the seven mil oh okay. So this is really all you get. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. So let's take that and all. I do have the 270. I mean, the 270 is probably a little better. But that Eckers, I, heard, I might just try that M1. You know, I might just try that M1. It seems to be a little more accurate than, eh, not much difference, is there? Maybe a little smoother because it's a lot different reload speed. No, it's kind of more or less the same, ain't it? Hmm. Well, heck. I think I will try that. I think I will try that sulking a little bit. I'll try it for a little bit. If I don't like it, heck, I can always get a different one. Uh, I think it's a 762. I mean, it's got bear on there. What more do you want? It don't have moose or anything. We'll just leave it at that. Caversman.
Alright. So what else? I wanna wanna go to ammo arrows. I wanna get some M There we go. I wanna get at least I think I'll get these instead. Alright. Okay, that. I want to put the Alexander bow on it. That way you don't have to worry about sight. Just aim and shoot them suckers. I like that bow. I don't. That way I don't need no sights or nothing. So we'll add the 7.62s on there. And we'll remove them broadheads. We'll put on the, them 700 grain traditionals. We don't really need no sights. But let's see if we can't get it by us a good uh, rifle sight now. Accent. Uh, yeah, see, we're not too far off that we're, we're, where we can buy us a better scope. So, yeah. Okay. So now let's go in here and re doctor up our uh, weapon. So we'll put the Sulkin up here. We'll put the bow, Alexander bow, down here. And we'll put the 7.62s in there. And we'll put the. 700 grain arrow there and we'll put the sights on that uh, oh not a bow sight uh, what I do so now yeah, okay they're trying to say I'm doing something oh yeah I guess I did take it off all right, then we'll go into our skills, and we'll definitely t keep, uh, well, let's keep plant planting on our, let's keep, increase the distance which tracks our visible highlighted. Yeah, that kind of can be good. Real zone by approximate group size one. Hmm. So I think it'd be necessary to do this first, then we'll go back and do the other one. Okay. All right, real good. So this is part one of this, and a picture for a book. I mean, we already traveled here. The uh, the the mission is kind of like right in here. So if you select it, it'd be like that. To get, travel to rep. So all you gotta do is go somewhere and take a picture of that deer. And you could you could probably just go over here and call one in. What you need, what do you need to do? You need to have have enough points to get that one point uh, call. This call, uh, this call call here, is the only call that works. We got enough to get it. If, if it's a pretty decent caller. Listen here. So see, I ain't got six thousand dollars yet. I could have bought it, but I didn't. Oh well, we'll get it here in a little bit. So, but anyhow, we're gonna go to the next map. And I think the next one we're going to do is, I think we're going to do, uh, I think we're actually going to do uh, the next map after Hirschfield came out with Medba. We're going to do Medba Taga. So thank you for watching everybody. I thank you. Uh, we'll continue on with each one of these. And we're going to do step one. We've already done Leighton Lake and now we've done Hirschfield. Now we're going to do Medba Taga. So thanks for watching everybody. We're going to continue here with part one of Medba Taga. Thank you.